Do you know who Jacob Kiplamo is? The man who just shattered a world record in one of the most commanding performances we've seen in 2024? If you're not familiar with him yet, trust me, you will be. Just this year, at the 2024 Seven Hills Run, Kiplamo made history. This wasn't just any world record, it was a statement. A reminder that he is not just a rising star, he is a force of nature. His performance sent shockwaves through the running world. And in case you missed it, the young Ugandan runner broke the 15K world record in a way that left everyone, runners, fans, and even experts, speechless. Welcome to another episode of The Sports We Love. This is the place where we break down the most electrifying moments in athletics, from underdogs to legends. Today, we dive into the jaw-dropping journey of Jacob Kiplamo, who has just rewritten the history books with a performance for the ages. Buckle up, because this one's a ride. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the race itself. The Seven Hills Run is one of the toughest courses out there, not just because of the distance, but because of the terrain. It's got hills, sharp turns, and weather conditions that make it a true test of a runner's ability to endure. And this year, no one could have predicted what was about to unfold. Jacob Kiplamo, a name already well-known in distance running, took to this course like a man with a mission, and he wasn't about to let anything get in his way. But here's the thing that made this race so extraordinary. There were no pace setters. Now for context, most record-breaking races have pacers who help set the pace for the elite runners, keeping them in check, helping them maintain rhythm, and even shielding them from the wind. But in this race, it was all on Kiplamo. He had to push himself without any external help, which makes the achievement even more impressive. Imagine running at a world record pace for 15 kilometers all on your own. The level of focus, strength, and strategy required here is beyond what most of us can even comprehend. But Kiplamo? He made it look easy. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Most runners would struggle to maintain a blistering pace for 15 kilometers, especially without any help from pacers. But Kiplamo didn't just hang in there. He went straight into beast mode right from the start. Within the first two minutes of the race, he was already moving at a pace that had him out in front, making strong, decisive moves to gap the field. We're talking about a man who, in the blink of an eye, was in his own universe. By the time the first 5K split came around, Kiplimo had already posted a time of 13.37, running at a pace of just under 4 minutes 23 seconds per mile. That's an insane pace, especially when you consider that he still had 10 kilometers left to go. This wasn't just fast, it was insane. And what makes this even more remarkable is that Kiplamo was still on world record pace and had no one to draft off or set the rhythm for him. His focus was laser sharp, his stride effortless. It was clear he wasn't just racing against competitors, he was racing against history. By the 5K mark, the race was over for everyone else. Seriously. Kiplimo had already established such a commanding lead that the camera operators had to scramble just to keep up with him. At one point, they had to pull back, focus on the second-place runner, and then speed up just to catch Kiplimo again. This wasn't just a race. It was a demonstration of pure dominance. As Kiplimo continued to push forward, the gap only grew. He wasn't just running against the clock, he was running away from the field. Imagine being the second-place runner, looking ahead, and seeing nothing but the back of Kiplimo's jersey. That's exactly what was happening by the 5K mark. The other runners couldn't even see him anymore. He was that far ahead. And what's crazy is that Kiplimo wasn't even pushing himself to the limit at this point. He was gliding, running with an ease that only the very best can manage, even at world record pace. Now let's talk about that final stretch. At the 10K mark, Kiplimo had already completed 27.18, still on pace to break the record, but here's the kicker. He still had five kilometers to go. And it wasn't just any 5K. It was the kind of 5K that would make most runners throw in the towel. He had to maintain this ridiculous pace and face the grueling challenge of the course's final hills. But here's the thing. Kiplimo is built differently. You could see him shift gears at the 10K mark as if he were mentally saying, all right, just one more push and the record is mine. 
and man did he push. His splits for the final five kilometers were unbelievable. 246, 250, 235, 238. These were not just fast times, they were strategic, calculated moves. Even though he was running downhill in some stretches, the sheer control he showed was amazing. Every step, every stride looked effortless, like he wasn't running on the edge of human capability, but rather just cruising through the course with casual grace. And then it happened. Kiplimo crossed the finish line in 40 minutes and 42 seconds, setting a new world record for the 15K by more than 23 seconds. To put that into perspective, this wasn't just breaking a record, this was obliterating it. Kiplimo had just completed the 15K in an average pace of 2.42 per kilometer, or 4.22 per mile. That's essentially running a 65-second lap around a track for 15 kilometers. Try doing that for a mile, let alone 15. And here's the kicker. Kiplimo didn't just break his own previous world record. He surpassed the record set by Joshua Cheptegei in 2023, and all of this was done without a single pacer by his side. This wasn't a team effort or a pacemaker-assisted feat. This was Kiplimo, alone, taking on the world. When you take a step back and look at Kiplimo's career, what's clear is that we're witnessing something special. He's already broken multiple world records in the 5K, 10K, and half marathon, but this 15K world record is on another level. He's now the undisputed king of road racing, but here's the crazy part. His 15K world record wasn't even his fastest performance over a 15K distance. When he set the half marathon world record in Lisbon back in 2021, he actually split through 15K faster than his new world record today. This guy's potential is limitless. Is it possible Kiplomo could break the 40-minute barrier for the 15K one day? Given his track record, I wouldn't bet against it. The way he handles these races, it feels like he's just warming up. But let's not forget, Kiplomo has some tough competition. Yomif Kajelcha, for example, is also having an incredible 2024 season and recently broke Kiplomo's half-marathon world record. It's clear that Kiplimo has rivals, but the question is, can anyone really challenge him? His consistency, his speed, and his ability to control a race make him an almost insurmountable force. The question is no longer if Kiplimo can dominate, but how long he can continue to do so. Let's put it all together. Kiplimo's performance was so dominant that the second-place finisher, Mike Fain from the Netherlands, was more than 2.5 minutes behind, finishing in 43 minutes and 19 seconds. That's still an impressive time that most people can only dream of, but on this day, it was the equivalent of an entire kilometer behind Kiplimo. From his astonishing 5K splits to the way he effortlessly glided over hills, Kiplimo's run was not just a world record, it was a masterclass in distance running. This 15K performance is a clear reminder that Jacob Kiplimo is not just one of the best runners in the world right now, he is quite possibly the greatest road racer we've ever seen. The question now isn't what's next, it's how much further can he go. Thanks for watching everyone. Let me know in the comments. Do you think Kiplimo can break the 40-minute barrier in the 15K? What's next for this incredible athlete? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, until next time.